2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, commands us to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Welcome to the battle. Jesus is Lord, not just of our hearts, but also of our minds. We need to be thinking God's thoughts after him. Today we are on word number 13 of our 15 great salvation words. Word number 13 is adoption. We have a new father, and we're in a new family. The Bible uses many different words to describe God's wonderful work in rescuing us from our sin and restoring us to his family. Each of these words describes the ruin of sin and the remedy for sin, what Christ has done for us on the cross and what he does in us by his Holy Spirit. We need to be saved from God's wrath at the cross, and from our own evil hearts by his Holy Spirit. Salvation, propitiation, substitution, redemption, reconciliation, cleansing, atonement, justification, imputation, and transference of citizenship are all done for us at the cross. And in us, by his Spirit, illumination, and conviction of our sin, regeneration, the new birth, and today, adoption, rescuing us from our abandonment in sin. In Ephesians 2, again, we read, And you who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that spirit who is now at work in the sons of disobedience. For you see, when we sinned against God and broke his command, we not only became sinners and enemies of God, but we became rebels and we turned to the king of darkness, Satan himself, and became citizens of the kingdom of darkness, lost and under Satan's dominion. In John chapter 8, verse 43, Jesus said, Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word, you are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own, for he is a liar and the father of lies." You see, when we sinned against God, we lost our place in the family of God, and we entered the family of Satan. That's why Jesus could say to those unbelievers, you are of your father, the devil, abandoned to the evil one who desires nothing but our destruction. Jesus said, because I tell you the truth, You do not believe me. He who is of God, that is born of God, hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you're not of God. In Galatians 4, we read, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, the law's judgment, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because now you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you're no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God 
through Christ. You see, when God gave us a new birth, regeneration, he brought us into his family as his adopted sons and daughters. Romans 8, 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if we're children, then we're heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. In Ephesians 1, beginning in verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons, by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. We are no longer strangers and orphans, but we are sons and daughters of God through the work of Christ for us on the cross and the work of Christ in us by his Spirit, born again and adopted into the family of God, where nothing will ever separate us from his love. O Lord, we thank you that you not only rescued us from our sin and cleansed us from its filth and freed us from its enslavement, but you made us your children. You welcomed us into your arms and you've called us your sons and daughters and you've said nothing will ever snatch us out of your hand. Oh, how blessed we are to belong to you, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for spending time in the Word with us today. 